Okay, this is my review of my Richard Black uh, Q, and that's the man there. Uh, he is by far one of my favorite Q builders, and uh, inspires me to get into Q building as well. Anyway, now let's take a look at the Q. This is it right here. Uh, Witten 1x2 case, two shafts, ivory ferrules. Uh, it's a uh, bird's eye maple. Uh, it's stained gray. Cocobola points with white ivory and ebony inlays. Silver rings. Smooth black leather wrap. Come on down here to the butt end and I'll zoom in on it here. As you see there, there's uh, ivory diamonds inlaid into cocobolo diamonds. Black Delrin butt cap. Leather wrap. Now Richard's leather wraps are all done by his wife and uh, she does a really good job. When I originally designed this cube uh, for Richard to build, uh, these points were not going to be floating points. They came all the way to the rings there and Richard decided to do that and I thought that was a really good idea and it's hard to see in this light but in between each point is also if I can get it to focus here some ivory diamonds and that goes all the way around the queue and then I also had Richard actually write on this queue for me See if I can get in on that. Uh, custom crafted for Dwayne Stockton by Richard Black, September 8th of 05. I had him do that um, for two reasons. So, first one, my last Richard Black cue was stolen, and I hope this helped deters that. And the second reason is for uh, insurance purposes. The joint protectors on this cue uh, is another set of Jim Baxter's. Um, and these are Cocobolo and then ivory tips with my initials there and the Richard Black case to go with it. Uh, this cue hits phenomenally well. Nice, nice solid hit. Let's see if I can get a shot of the whole cue at once. Like I said before, this isn't the greatest camera, but... The other thing is with this cue is I've kept all of the uh, original paperwork that Richard sent with the cue. And then uh, there's my original artwork that I submitted to Richard when I first designed it. And then all the money orders I sent him uh, while it was in the process of being built. Now a big mistake I made is I did not keep the original shipping box and as Q collectors know that's what you want to do and I don't know what I was thinking at the time but I did not do that so any new collectors out there if you have a custom Q made make sure you keep the box it really helps the value of the Q uh, later in years so, anyway, if there's any Richard Black fans out there, I hope you enjoy seeing this one. Take care.